and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. I've got my favorites and then some new deliveries that I wanted to share on camera. And they are the new Hourglass, oh, what are these called? The new Hourglass lip glosses, whatever they are. Um, I shared that I love the old formula, the Extreme Sheen lip gloss, I think they're called. And I have four shades here, four neutral shades. So I thought I would show you them on. I'm wearing one today. This is the shade called Unreal. And compare those to the old formula. So let's first start with my favorites. I don't know whether I showed this before. I've showed it on my Insta stories on my Instagram. That's where I show a lot of like quick things or like day to day beauty things or fashion things. So it's always a good place to follow me if you want um, to see some other things that I may not feature on my channels. But the Sigma Cleansing brush mat. And they had sent this to me with a bunch of brushes and, and some other makeup. And this was like the one thing that I like instantly gravitated towards. You just lay it in your sink. And I use the solid beauty blender cleansing soap or the Sephora also makes one. And I just swirl my brush in that and then I rub it on this to kind of get all the makeup off and everything while the water's running. And it is fantastic. This is the small version. I believe there's like a larger version, but small ver version works for me fine. And it's just so, I don't know why I never got a cleansing brush mat or brush cleansing mat before. I, I mean, I just always just kind of rub it in my hand and then lay it out to dry, but this really helps to get it so, so clean. So really love that and think it's definitely worth um, getting, especially if you use your makeup brushes regularly and you want to clean them. I know I've talked before, um, so I wanted to bring it up again. You know, my favorites video are never, I'll, sometimes there's stuff that I haven't discussed before. Sometimes it's like, yeah, you're talking about that again. Yep, still loving it. The Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. So I typically get a spray tan in the summer, but in between spray tan appointments, I like to use this to touch up. I actually have it on today. I know you're gonna look and be like, that's you with a spray tan, that's you with a self tanner. Yes, I don't like it to be super, super dark simply because I'm very fair. And my concern with the darker it gets, the more chance there is for streaking or it looking, you know, when it's starting to patchy, when it's um, going away. So I like to keep it very natural. However, this is the one that I have found is the least streaky for me, easiest to apply. I use the mitt. However, my trick with it, and you may get a different result using this if you just use it straight, you probably would get much darker than me because I mix it with a body lotion. I just have like an unscented body lotion and I mix it with it. So it almost turns into like a tinted lotion and that's how I apply it. And typically it takes me a few days to kind of build up some color, but I like the color that it gives me. It gives me just enough of a color. I and mean, obviously with the lights on, I don't look that tan, but in person, it definitely like just tints my skin, makes me look a little healthy. And, but using it with the unscented body lotion is key for me because I never get streaks. As you can see, like my hand is not really a much different color than my arm. My elbows don't look crazy. So I have no issues with it. And, um, but you may get a darker result if you use it without a, like, body lotion mixing it with, but that's just how I like it and it works well for me that way. A cleansing balm that I wanna talk about, I just discovered this, Beautylish sent this over to me and this was a new line on their site. And I had seen it on their site when I was on there shopping and I was kind of intrigued and then they had sent it over. It's the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. First of all, the price point is fantastic. It's $15 and I was definitely very intrigued because it has um, sea buckthorn, buckthorn oil, camellia oil, and shea butter. So it's a really stiff texture. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's, it's like really white. But it's a really stiff texture. But, whoa. It, the first night I used it, I was like rubbing into the skin and my makeup was just sliding right off. It came off instantly. My mascara was coming off easily. It, and afterwards I put some water on it. Sometimes with cleansing balms, you need to use a muslin cloth or a washcloth to really get it off because 
there's still some texture or it feels a little greasy or whatever. Nope. Add water to it, turns to a beautiful milk, rinsed right away. My skin was so clean, but not like dry or tight or uncomfortable. It still felt very hydrated, moisturized. And I was like, okay, this needs to go in a favorites video because I've been using it ever since and I absolutely am crazy for it. And especially if you, um, I mean, if you love cleansing balms, definitely this is a great one. I would use this more as a makeup remover or removing you know, sunscreen or, you know, the dirt and grime that's off your face rather than as a second cleanse, letting it kind of like sit on your skin. For me, this kind of really cuts through dirt, grime, sunscreen, makeup really, really well. I mean, you can use it as a second cleanse if you want to, but for me, definitely with the price point, this is a great makeup remover. And, um, but if you're a new to cleansing balms, this is not an exceptionally very oily or kind of greasy texture. So a lot of people, when they're new to cleansing balms, are like, mm, that kind of, you know, creeps me out. I want to try it. This is a very thick, solid formula. So it's not, um, so it's a little bit uh, nicer to use if you're new to cleansing. Next favorite is my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Yep. She did an amazing job with this launch. This is the Sunstalker Bronzer. I have in the shade Into Sun. First I was like, Into Sun? Is it like, in, it should be India Sun? And I was like, oh, in the Sun. I get it now. The formula is stunning. I have it on today and I like to wear just on my cheeks or if I've just like recently spray tanned and I just kind of dust it all over my foundation, if my foundation's a little light. It is more of a matte formula, but it is not a very flat matte. So it's not gonna make your skin just look like Ugh. And the color, first of all, I haven't tested any other colors, obviously, because I just want for my shade. And if you are fair like me, this is your shade. It is not orange, not too brown, not muddy, blends beautifully. You can build it up. That's the great thing that I love about it is it first goes on and it's like nothing on the skin. I was like, oh, is it even showing up? But it does. Because my problem with a lot of bronzers is I will apply it and then I spend the rest of the time trying to blend it all out because I look like I have too much bronzer on. Just, I just cannot say enough great things. Formula is beautiful. The color is perfection. I like that it's matte because it looks, it just gives my skin like a nice bronzy look, but there's no shimmer. So you don't have to worry about that. It's great if you have oily skin and great if you have dry skin because the formula is so finely milled. So it doesn't look heavily powdered on the face. I, I just can't answer enough great things. Like find your shade, get this. I think you will love it. A few of you have said to me that you've already purchased it. And you're like, it's as good as you said. I was like, yeah, right? I, you know, it's really rivaling my Becca Bali Sands, the Sunlit Bronzer and Bali Sands. That has a little more shimmer to it, but this is, in my mind, almost just as good, if not just as good. Another favorite, the Skin Suitables HA Intensifier. If you are looking for a really powerful hyaluronic acid serum, something to plump up the skin, to really help maintain moisture, keep those moisture levels in the skin, this is the one. I have the Hydrating B5 gel, which I've used and I like, but this is, I think this is a higher price point. I'm almost positive it's a higher price point. And it's just, it's that stepped up a notch. It's really powerful and I, I've really seen the difference using it. It really plumps up the skin and my skin is very, very just buoyant, bouncy, and not dehydrated. Like I don't find by the end of the day my skin is very dehydrated. I like to use it twice a day. And um, typically I use it like under whatever vitamin C serum I'm using. So I use that after I cleanse tone, I'll do this, then put on my vitamin C serum, let's say for the day. And then my sunscreen, I'm, you know, out and about. Um, another moisture product is this moisture mask by Alchemy. It is the Cantic Brightening Moisture Mask. So it's exactly that. It brightens and moisturizes. Now this is different than the Colleen Rothschild, the intense hydrating mask. That to me is like a no must, no fuss. It has like a gel-like texture to it. This is a little bit creamier. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to see. It's like a red color. It's a little bit creamier, has a little more slip to it, and not as thick. That one just feels like a traditional moisture mask, and I love it. This one, the difference to me was I definitely get a lot more brightening. So it says brightening and you really get a lot of brightening. Like after I rinse it off my skin, my skin looks very fresh, very radiant, 
Also, it does wonders for helping with redness. So if your skin's very irritated or red, this is a great mask to put on to help soothe it, calm it, and then go on with the rest of your skincare routine. And um, they had sent this to me a long time ago, and I just hadn't got around to trying it. And then I saw, I don't know, I saw it somewhere on social media, someone was talking about this mask. I was like, oh, I'm going to go try it. And uh, wow, it has impressed me. And you just need a very small amount. So this um, will last a very long time. And, you know, I thought I would just mention it because I still am loving it. And the NARS Lost in Luster palette, the Fever Dream Lost in Luster palette, it, it's just so good. I have it on my cheeks today. Do I have it on my cheeks? Yes. I have it on my eyes today. It, it's really good. I know I've talked about it before. I believe it's still on Nordstrom. I think it's limited edition. I would recommend really getting it. However, the Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Skin Palette is very similar in the um, cheap products. Like I feel like the highlighter and blush are very similar. So if you miss out on this, you could get that. You're just not going to get the eyeshadows. But um, it's a really good, like, all-in-one, one-and-done palette. Another favorite that I've been loving, I've gone back to this color, and it is Tom Ford in Pink Dusk. I've really been loving this, especially in a lot of, like, my photos when I'm taking outfit photos and stuff. I mean, I just love it day-to-day, -day, but I've also been loving the way it looks like on camera. It's a very creamy, peachy pink. Very opaque. And just a lovely, lovely color and great for the summer. Um, I don't love the smell of Tom Ford lipsticks. Anyone else? I'm like not a big fan of the scent of his, his lipsticks. It's a little like, ooh. Um, anyway, that's a great shade and I bought it a long time ago and still really love the color. And the formula is nice. It's very creamy. It's not like the best lipstick formula ever. I just like it more for the color. And then, all right, let's get on to the Hourglass new glosses. I have four here to share with you. I'm wearing Unreal today. Um, wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They have Unreal Gloss. I am wearing, oh, my gosh, they're all Unreal. They're called the Unreal Glosses. Okay, that is just, I am wearing Child. Oh, sorry. And this, so first of all, the formula compared to the old one, it doesn't feel exactly the same. Like this feels a little bit creamier, but it is, I mean, it's like splitting hairs. I'll be very honest. And I mean, some of you may notice the difference because I know some of you are very, you know, attuned to slight differences. I mean, to me, it feels the same. I love it just as much. It's just gorgeous, creamy, smooth texture, not very tacky or sticky. I mean, it's glossy. It is not a, an exceptionally thick gloss. It's not super, super, let's say, shiny, goopy. I mean, that's what I loved about this. It's just creamy and smooth and the coverage is gorgeous. The color of this one is absolutely beautiful. This is Child. And then I have three others here. I've got, um, what's, what's this one? Oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Fortune, Sublime, and Ignite. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this one off. And then I'll put the other ones on. You can see the swatches of all of them on my lips. Okay, next, the very similar one to Child is Sublime. It's a little more pinky. And these have no shimmers in the OMG. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yep, you're going to need these. You're going to need a few shades. I hate to say it. You, you may need at least one but maybe a few, if you love gloss. If you don't love gloss, then uh, you don't need these. Um, oh gosh, this color is, it's a little less uh, peachy than that one. I feel like the difference is very slight though. I mean, it, it would take like a trained eye to notice the difference. So one is sub sublime, one is child, this one is child. Yeah, the, the formula is, I mean, when you first put it on, you're gonna have to like, you know, kind of mess with it a little bit because it could get on your teeth and whatnot. But I do find that they last a good amount of time. They're not going to last all day. They're a gloss. But, oh yeah, it's just, I definitely would probably use a lip liner with this because it almost is the color of my lips. So I love my Kylie lip um, pencil from the Kylie Lip Kit. I know, I'm sorry, but it is so good in the shade Bare that I got during the Ulta sale. I think I would use that with this. And, but a look like this, I mean, this is like just everyday gorgeousness. 
And then, all right, let's try These other two have shimmer in them. So these are just creamy glosses with no shimmer and these two have shimmer. This shade is Fortune and it's gonna be a little more of like a gold uh, pink with some gold shimmer. And okay, first of all, the shimmer is, it's like grown up shimmer. It's not glittery, it's not, this is some grown up shimmer. This is gonna be, yeah, anyone can wear this. It's gonna just give your lips a little bit of fullness and oh yeah. This is like, you know what this is like? NARS Orgasm in a lip gloss. I know they have the NARS Orgasm, like lip oils and everything, but I just, they just don't look like this. This is peachy, pink, golden perfection. And the shimmer is, just helps to kind of make the lips look fuller and more beautiful. Okay, they're all winning in my book. Last one here, this one's a little more gold, and this one is Ignite. Ignite is very, very gold and um, almost like, a bronzy so this is very sheer this would be great to wear alone or to layer over things this to me is a great gloss to put over top one of your favorite lipsticks if you want just a little bit of gold shimmer yeah oh yeah this feels a little mmm more slip to it and a little more lightweight those feel very rich and creamy this is much more lightweight and feels just like almost like a mix between a lip oil and a lip gloss. Oh yeah. They're just, they're all beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hourglass just knocked it out of the park with these. Woo! Goodness. You're gonna need a few of these. Uh, one at least, if not a few. And all right, that's it. Those are all my favorites. I will go ahead and link everything that I talked about down below. Um, make sure to also link some um, new blog posts on my blog. I have a lot of good stuff over there, some workwear outfits, some spring looks, um, a lot of different things. Oh, I did a Mother's Day post with Miles. Those photos were so cute. So I'll link all of those um, new blog posts down below. And I will link all of this as well, as well as my makeup and my cute shirt. Oh my gosh, guys, Target. Target for this shirt. Oh, I have a blog post on all my favorite pieces from Target that I've been loving. Target has been killing it right now in the clothing department. And so I will link this as well below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.